everyone welcome back to my channel ncrt maths with buddy today we are continuing our exercise number 3.2 of chapter 3 that is pair of linear equations in two variables of grade 10 so third question is on comparing the ratios a1 by a2 b1 by b2 c1 by c2 find out whether the following pair of linear equations are consistent or inconsistent so this question is again similar to question number 2 that is first we should find the ratios a1 by a2 b1 by b2 and c1 by c2 this i have already written then we will compare them if a1 by a2 is not equal to b1 by b2 that means that pair of equations will have unique solution second is if all the ratios are same then also it will have infinite many solutions but in third case if first two ratios are equal but it is not equal to c1 by c2 then it is having no solution so now how to determine whether the pair is consistent or inconsistent it is like if the equations are having unique solution or infinite solutions then these lines are or these equations are consistent if there is no solution then we can say that those equations are inconsistent means for first two cases it will be consistent because unique and infinite solution means if they have some solution but if no solution then it will be referred as inconsistent so let's solve it yeah again one thing i have already explained in the introduction video whenever you have to compare these ratios right hand side should be zero if not first make them zero so here in our case right hand side is not zero so first we will compare them shift right, right hand side to left hand side so this is 3x plus 2y minus 5 equals to 0 here it is 2x minus 3y minus 7 equals to 0 so as i have already told you a1 is coefficient of x b1 is coefficient of y and c1 is the constant so here what is a1 a2 3 and 2 b1 b2 this is 2 and minus 3 if there is negative sign always take with these variables c1 and c2 is minus 5 and minus 7 So now we will find a1 by a2. This is 3 by 2. b1 by b2 is 2 over minus 3, and c1 by c2 is minus 5 over minus 7 means 5 by 7. So first, always compare a1 and a2 with b1 by b2. So these two are not equal. So if they are not equal, no need to check second and third possibility. Okay? Since a1 by a2 is not equal to b1 by b2, though these equations will have unique solution, so we can say that they are consistent. Since a1 by a2 is not equal to b1 by b2, so we will say that given equations are consistent. This is what they have asked, and you can mention with unique solution. because this condition is for unique solution okay so this is our first part now let's see the second one again right hand side is not zero so make it zero first four x minus six y minus nine equals to zero again find a one a two This is two and four. B one, B two, minus three, minus six. C one, C two, as minus eight, minus nine. Okay. So find the ratios. This is two by four, one by two. B one by B two is minus three over minus six. So again one by two. C1 by C2 is minus 8 over minus 9, so this is 8 by 9. So now we can check 
a1 by a2 is equal to b1 by b2 both are 1 by 2 but it is not equal to c1 by c2 so which condition here first two are equal but third is not equal so no solution so no solution means equations are inconsistent so we will write since a1 by a2 is equal to b1 by b2 but not equals to c1 by c2 therefore given equations are inconsistent always remember your question should include those terms which has been asked in the question so inconsistent with no solution okay so third thing is again right hand side is not zero so 3 by 2x plus 5 by 3 by minus 7 equals to zero here it is 9x minus 10y minus 14 equals to zero okay so what we will do find a1 a2 3 by 2 9. So don't hesitate if these coefficients are in fraction. No problem in that. You will get answer in a simple way. So this is minus 7 and minus 40. Okay. So find the values of a1 by a2. This is 3 by 2 divided by 9. So divided by 9 means I will write 1 here. So 3 by 2, so reciprocal 1 by 9, so this is 1 by 6. Okay, what is B1 by B2? 5 by 3 divided by minus 10. Okay, so again write denominator as 1, make the reciprocal. So here it is. Minus 1 by 6. Okay. And what is C1 by C2 then? Minus 7 over minus 14. So this is 1 by 2. So now what we have seen. A1 by A2 is 1 by 6. And this is minus 1 by 6. So they are not equal. So these lines will have unique solution. And lines are consistent. So since a1 by A2 is not equal to B1 by B2. Therefore, equations are consistent with unique solution. Okay? So, I hope this is also clear. Now, let's see the remaining parts. So, the next part is 5x minus 3y equals to 11. So again, first shift right hand side term to left hand side. So that right hand side is 0. Minus 10x plus 6y. This is minus 22. So on this side it will be 22 equals to 0. Okay. So second step is find the value of a1, a2. So this is 5 and minus 10. B1, B2 is minus 3 and 6. C1, C2 is minus 11, 22. Okay. Find the ratios. A1 by A2 is 5 over minus 10. Simplify it. This is minus 1 by 2. Right. So B1 by B2 is equal to minus 3 by 6. Again minus 1 by 2. Right. And C1 by C2 is minus 11 by 22. Again minus 1 by 2. So our second case that all ratios are equal. So all ratios are equal means infinite many solutions. Means equations are consistent. So since... A1 by A2 is equal to B1 by B2 is equal to C1 by C2. Therefore, equations are consistent with infinite 
infinitely many solutions. Okay, so fifth part is again make your first right hand side as zero. So find the values of a one, b one, c one, a two, b two, c two. So this is four by three and two. B one by B two is two and three. C one by C two is minus eight and minus twelve. Okay. So now find the ratio A one by A two. So this is four by three divided by two. So write denominator one so that we can find reciprocal. So two by one is one by two. So this will be cancelled, and our answer is two by three. Okay. So B one by B two is two by three again. What is C one by C two? Minus eight over minus twelve. Minus minus will be cancelled. C this is again two by three. Okay. So all ratios are equal. All ratios are equal means infinite solutions and equations are consistent. Since a one by a two, you should always mention which condition is satisfied. Okay. So since all these are equal, therefore equations are consistent. Always underline whatever is asked to you. with infinitely many solutions okay so with this part our question number 3 is over i hope now you can identify whether the given pair of equations is consistent or inconsistent consistent means either has unique solution or they have infinite many solution in both cases equations are consistent but if it is having no solution then equations are inconsistent so i hope question number 3 is clear to you if you like my teaching please subscribe to my channel this is all about this video see you in my next video with the remaining questions of the same exercise thank you